Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter seven, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. All it wants us to do is to add up our fractions until we get to this. So in this case, it would be one a plus one a plus one a because the denominator stays the same, but we just need to total the top number. So one, two, three, we're good, okay? All right, so then one twelve plus 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 one twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and the denominator stays the same. Okay? You guys go ahead and do this one. You totally can. We are going to do the sum of fractions in different ways. All right, you ready? So we could do one tenth plus six tenths. We could do two tenths plus five tenths. We could do three tenths plus four tenths. Or you could do one tenth, 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 seven times if you wanted to. Okay? But you just gotta do it in different ways. That's it. Not that big of a deal, guys. Okay, you guys go ahead and do number six. Okay, we're gonna go down and do number seven. Miguel's teacher asked him to color four eighths of his grid. He must use three colors, red, blue, and green. There, are, there must be more green sections than red sections. How can Miguel color the sections of the grid to follow all the rules? So, he could do, mm, we just have to add up to eight. So we could do, Two green, one red, and one blue. Okay. Okay. So this one would be red, green, and blue, okay? That would be totally fine, okay? All right, Petra is asked to color six sixths of her grid. She must use three colors, blue, red, and pink. There must be more blue sections than red sections or pink sections. What are the different ways that you could do it? Okay, so we could do three six blue two six red and one six pink we could do four six blue we could do one six red and we could do one six pink you do not have to write down all of these they're just options we could do three six blue, one six red, and two six pink. Any of those are options. You can do whatever one you want. Okay. All right, I'm going to the back where you guys are going to go ahead and do a lesson check, just like always. Okay. And we're going to go down to this part of you. An apple is cut into six equal slices. Nancy eats two of the slices. What fraction of the apple is left? Okay, so we have six over six, right? She eats two of the six. Okay, so our denominator stays the same and six minus two is four, fine. Okay, which of these numbers is a prime number? Well, eleven is the only number that cannot be multiplied by any other number to get to itself. To multiply 13 to get to 51, to multiply 7 to get to 21. 1 is kind of a gray area, but it's not considered a prime number. Okay? All right. A teacher has a bag of 100 unit cubes. She gives an equal number of cubes to each of seven groups in her class. 
she gives each group as many cubes as she can. How many unit cubes are left over? Well, let's just divide 100 by 7. Okay? So 7 is not going to go into 1. So 7 will go into 10 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract, we get 3. Okay? 3 is smaller than 7, so we can bring down our 0. And 7 will go into 30 four times for 28, and we'll have two left over. So the most she can give each group is 14 cubes. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but it's asking how many are left over. I misread that. So your remainder is how many are left over. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, Jessie sorted the coins in her bank. She made seven stacks of six dimes and eight stacks of five nickels. Then she found one dime and one nickel. How many dimes and nickels did Jessie have in all? Well, so she had seven stacks of six dimes. Then she found one more. And she had eight stacks of five nickels. And then she found one more. And then we're going to add those two together. Okay? So, seven times six is 42, plus one would be 43. Eight times five is 40, plus one would be 41. Okay? One plus three is four, and four plus four is eight. 84 coins. Okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 7.2. Come on back to 7.3 soon.